Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Good, thanks. Sorry, I had to leave and return. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't working, but it's OK now. Um, Maria, where are you from? I'm from Spain. It's oh. my first um, class with you. With you. Nice but, to meet you. Uh, see, but um, I, I, I've been in class with Lorraine and teacher Chad. Cool. Great. Nice to meet you. Um, what part of Spain do you live in? In the north, Aragon. Cool. I lived in um, Cordoba last year in the south. Oh, okay. It was very warm. <laughs> but my Spanish is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> my English, too. No. I'm sure my Spanish is much, much, much worse <laughs> than your English, so don't worry. Um, hello again, Giancarlo. Nice to see you. Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you, too. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Fantastic. Just learning some new words and expressions here in Berlin. I have a quick question. Can you help me? Yeah, of course. Sure. Okay. We, we were talking about uh, possessive pronouns, her, mm -hmm. his, etc. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that, for example, cars and boats are mm -hmm. female, female and nouns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, is that correct? A few males? I mean, I'm going to give you an example. Nautilus made her way home. Or Nautilus made its way home. Right. So objects um, like cars, boats, mm, motorcycles, these sort of motor-operated vehicles and objects, um, we sometimes refer to them in the fe as a feminine noun and use she or her um, but you can also use it it works the same way with pets with animals um, like your pet dog you could call it a he a her according to its gender or you can say it because it's an animal so they're both correct like you could say um, I have a boat I named her Betsy <laughs> Or you could say, um, uh -huh. I have a boat, it's very fast. So it depends on how you're talking about the object. Oh, wow, amazing. You know, every day we learn, we learn something new. Fantastic. It's kind of like, um, if you talk about a boat or a car and, and use she or her, um, <clears throat> it's like kind of a nurturing thing. You're saying, like, it's your baby or something, you know? Uh -huh. um, it's a loving object. It's, yeah, you it, love it. You love it. Yeah, too. it's something that yeah. you love a lot. And you, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Thank yeah. you, Samantha. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, that's a good question, actually, because it's kind of confusing. <laughs> um, who else is here? Hi, Andrews. I can't hear you. Mm -mm. I don't know what's the what the problem is, but maybe try using headphones with a, like a microphone. It might make it better. I don't like to use my headphones. I'm a bad example. <laughs> but I can't hear you, Andrews. Um, hi, Luca. You're muted, so click your microphone up here somewhere. <laughs> Okay, I am Yona. Uh, Hi. Hi, how are nice you? Nice to meet Thank you. Well, I am very, very well. Thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Where are you from? Uh, I am from Albany, but I live in Italy. Uh, uh, now I live in, it, in, in Italy. Uh, 20 years uh, to, um, late. Uh, 20. Uh, I live in Italy from uh, 20 years. Good. So you would say, um, I've lived in Italy for 20 years. For, for 20 time. years. Cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> I would love to visit Italy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks beautiful. It's very beautiful. Okay. 
Cool. I'm from Canada, and uh, I. Yay! Yay! <laughs> well, it's very beautiful. nice, but it's... I I I don't uh, go uh, never in Canada, but my my cousin uh, live in um, Toronto. Um, is very very happy. Great. Cool. She, yeah, she, I live. She lives in Canada. I live near Toronto, a few hours from Toronto, so it's not too far. Um. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I I speak very uh, 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 I I speak very um, very little English. Uh, um, um, but I, I like uh, very much the English. Good. Uh, <laughs> Your English is is wonderful, so don't worry. <laughs> and we're all here to practice, so it's fine. I see someone's head. Is it your husband? He's my Luca <laughs> is my boyfriend. Ah, okay. L Luca is, is your boyfriend. He account is uh, he a, a account? Uh, uh, okay. So what's I your improve, I am try uh, yeah, I am try this uh, uh, program uh, it's beautiful <laughs> what's your name my name uh, is Yona Yona okay yes. cool so otherwise I'll call you Luca and <laughs> that's not you <laughs> <laughs> no Yona. cool okay nice to meet you um, hi, Mohammed. Hi, Samantha. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you doing? Fine. Good. Nice to see you as always. <laughs> Thank you. And hi again, Oksana. Welcome back. Hello. How are you doing? Fine, and you? Fine, thanks. Nice to see yes, you. Again. Yes, nice to see you again. <laughs> and. Yuki tells us in the chat to tell you the truth. I don't like English very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true, uh, right, Yuki? I'm very, I'm very embarrassed to confess that. But <laughs> is it too difficult? Is that why? Um, um, uh, it's it because my English is not improving, so I'm not good at only just because I'm not good at speak English, so speaking English. Yes, so. you are. <laughs> so I think so. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, I think it's improving, but when you get to your level, it starts to feel like it's improving more slowly. Yeah, but, it, yes. but it is. Yeah, but such a, such a situation, slow, slowly improving situation, is continues very, for a very long time, so uh, mm -hmm. I am... I am tired. I am tiring. Have you heard the expression <laughs> slow, slow and steady wins the race? Oh. Is it, <laughs> is it, is it right? It's from the story the <laughs> Do you tortoise think it, it's correct? and the hare. Yeah, definitely. You can't learn a language very quickly. No languages yes, are that yes. easy. <laughs> same, uh, there are, there are same, same meaning of this. Saying uh, in Russia and in Japanese. Cool. I, 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 when I speak, when I am speaking English, I feel, I don't feel um, free, freedom, mm. because uh, English, in English, you cannot change the order of words. Yeah. Uh, if mm. it, it, it was uh, Russian and Japanese, or maybe also in Spanish. Spanish you can change the order of words in, in one sentence uh, quite freely, but mm -hmm. but but in English it is not allowed. So I feel I feel very awkward when I speak English. Restricted, maybe. Yeah, restricted. Uh, for example, uh, 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 in English you can say I love you, but mm -hmm. you don't say you love I. I, 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 you love, yeah? But right. in Russian, in Japanese, it, it's possible. Oh, yes. I see. Yeah, English so, is more strict. So much more strict. So very, very strict mm -hmm. in, in order of, of what in, in a sentence. So it's... True. But... 
Your English is wonderful, so keep talking. No, I'm... I'm <laughs> yes, it is. My, my English is awful. No, it's not. And I you don't like my English. Russian and Japanese, and you speak some French too, right? So I think No, no, you I don't are... speak French. No, you <laughs> don't? Well, I thought you did. I don't know why. Uh, I just began to study Spanish, but... but Spanish oh, okay. <laughs> just basic level. So you speak as much Spanish as me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I um, so. And who is sitting Thank beside you. Yuki? I don't know how to pronounce your name. Abdul Aziz. Sorry, can you tell me again? Abdul, I am Abdul Aziz. Abdul Aziz. Abdul Aziz. Mm. Okay. Ooh, that's a hard one for me. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, I am from uh, Egypt. Egypt, go cool. Abdelaziz. I'm gonna have to uh, practice. <laughs> now, now I live uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, I uh, work here. Uh, I work here. Mhm. Mm Great. And um, have you taken verbling classes before? Good uh, idea. Good this. Good. Glad you <laughs> like it. <laughs> um. Okay. So today we are looking at um, an, a chapter from a book called Sugar and Spice. So you can, I think I gave you the link. Here's the link. If you want to open it, you can follow along. We are going to read the document together and discuss it, basically, and look at vocabulary. So you can see it on my screen here. Here it is, sugar and spice. Um, so we have lots of spicy things here. We've got from sweet, which is green, to spicy, which is like red, really super, super, super hot. So does anyone here like spicy food? I like spicy food very much. Yeah? Yes. yes. I, like thai, I like Thai food. Uh, Korean food and of course the Indian food. Uh, Indian curry food. is my favorite food. Uh, you know, in Japan there is many curry shop, curry restaurants in mm -hmm. Japan. And uh, you, you in some restaurants you can order specially uh, very strong, strong, um, enlarged, and strong, and and. And strong the curry version of curry, strong version of curry, uh, kind of uh, ten ten times spicy curry, twenty times spicy curry, ho, uh, super hot curry. Yeah, I, I sometimes I try such a such a special curry, and every time I I ordered after I I was regretted to be ordered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that it's very very hot. <laughs> you always regret eating spicy food the next day, right? Yes, like yes. one day later, like <laughs> oh. Uh, Indians say that curry you can you can enjoy curry twice. Do you know what it does it mean? I I don't twice. want to explain about it. I think I understand. You can enjoy the curry <laughs> twice. Yes, coming in or going in and coming out. <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. <laughs> so, um, right. So, these are just some different types of, of peppers. <laughs> I can change the yeah. subject. Yeah, the reality, reality <laughs> so, says so, such a thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have um, a sweet bell pepper, jalapenos. These are different types of peppers. And they show you how spicy the peppers are from sweet to the world's hottest chili, which looks kind of intimidating. I think it's glowing. <laughs> Look at it. Um, so, before you read, make that a bit bigger. There we go. What do you know about chili peppers? The Dorset Naga is the world's hottest chili. Let's take a look. Is that true or false? Mm -hmm. True. The Dorset Naga. I don't know. I don't know. Do you see it on here? Where is it? The Dorset Naga. 
Dorset Naga. Yes, one. one of the worst uh, right hand side. Yes, it's mm -hmm. right. Right here, yeah. I even don't know what what the Dorset to Nagas is like. Yes, uh, I uh, I don't uh, know too what is it, and I can't translate. It it's looks the name of the chili. It's yeah, it's just the name, of, just a name of, of a type of chili. I've never wow. had it. Um, I don't. I also never had okay. it. It looks scary. <laughs> yes, <but laughs> I hope I don't have it. <laughs> I ho yeah. I hope no one puts it in my food. <laughs> but I, I I'd like to try once. Really? Oh, I don't want to try it. <laughs> you don't want? No. You can do it tw twice. <laughs> I don't mind Tabasco sauce. Has anyone else had Tabasco? Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah, it's a popular sauce. That one's okay, but this one I I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> um, the Scoville is a type of chili pepper. The Scoville. True or false? False. It's false. False, right. I don't see anything named Scoville. There's a Scotch bonnet, but there's no Scoville. Um, jalapeno peppers are hotter than Scotch bonnets. True or false? Mm -hmm. Jalapeno peppers are hotter, hotter than Scotch bonnets. True. False. 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 It's false. Yes. It's false. This is cooler. Green is cooler. Red is spicy, spicy. So here are jalapenos and scotch bonnet over here. They're spicy. It's jalapeno or jalapeno? Ha jalapeno. Um, normally there's a little squiggle above the end. <laughs> um, so it's pronounced like this. Jalapeno. No, no, they wrote it here in J, but it's starting with J, jalapeno. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, we pronounce it jalapeno, but I don't uh, know if that's correct or not. It, who speaks Spanish? Maria, how do you say this? Jalapeno. Jalapeno. In Mexico, we say jalapeno. Jalapeno, yeah. Uh, jalapeno, I, I, I heard it. Yes, yes, jalapeno. Jalapeno. Yes, yes. Yeah. Some. Um, it's not an English word, right? So we just kind of try to pronounce it, but we don't always <laughs> do very well. <laughs> um, so some people call it a jalapeno, but that's that's not correct. <laughs> um, sweet bell peppers have a very low heat level. Sweet bell peppers have a very low yes, heat. It's true. Low heat. It's true. Mm -hmm. It's the yellow one, right? This one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sweet bell. Sweet bell peppers. Okay, the I hottest do. chili. Dun dun dun. <laughs> so, does anyone here like hot sauce? Yes. No, no, I don't. Because I suffer from gastritis, so. Okay, well, <laughs> then no. <laughs> you know, no. I put hot sauce on mm, most things. I, I put Tabasco, and we have something called Frank's Red Hot Sauce. But you know, Tabasco is American, uh, uh, made of America, yeah? Mm -hmm. I think uh, when so. I, when I have been, it, uh, Japanese often, often uh, put Tabasco on, onto the pizza. pizza. I'm going to show you my three favorite hot sauces. <laughs> I like... This is our Tabasco sauce, and we have this one, red hot sauce. It's um, it's a pepper sauce, cayenne pepper, and but but the Italian people never put the Tabasco on the pizza, mm. do you know? Yeah, we do yes. sometimes. Does anyone know this one, Sriricha? The rooster sauce, it's very good. Those are my favorites. <laughs> um, but I don't have any gastrointestinal problems, so I can eat hot, hot food. <laughs> it's okay. Um, all right, let's, we're going to read this together, so I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. And we'll take turns reading, look at vocabulary, and then we will answer some comprehension questions. Okay? So, um, 
How about Giancarlo? Could you read the first paragraph? Sure. You may have experienced the feeling your mouth feels like it's on fire and the heat causes your eyes to water. You've just eaten one of nature's spiciest foods, the chili pepper. Ouch. <laughs> um, uh -huh. What do, do you see any new words here, everyone? New vocabulary? No? No. Okay, good. Um, Andrews, is your microphone working? No. Andrews, beside Giancarlo. Oh. Uh oh, what's happening? <laughs> I still can't hear you. I'm not sure what the problem is, but I still can't hear you. Um. Oh, I forget your name. Yvonne, no, Yvonne, Luca's wife. Yona. <laughs> Yona, Yona. I was so close. <laughs> Yona, could you read the second paragraph? Chili. Okay. Chili okay. uh, peppers, also called called the chilies, are found in various dishes around the world, from Indian curious. Curious too. They to yum soap to Mexican uh, and uh, chai lad, chai, uh, and uh, chila lads. Oh, my God. Enchiladas. Yeah. Enchiladas. Yeah. Don Carlo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, it's a me it's a Mexican word. It's a Mexican dish. It's a tortilla. Uh, covered with chili with sauce. It's delicious, and you can put on the uh, you can put on cheese, and it's it's delicious. Like this. But it's mm -hmm. enchiladas. Enchila enchiladas. Yeah. Enchiladas. Very, Thank you. Enchiladas. enchiladas. They're so delicious. I love them so much. <laughs> <laughs> enchiladas. Yeah. Uh, chilies come from uh, the um, the uh, capsicum. Uh, plant and uh, they are hot because they contain an uh, ingredient called capsaicin. Capsaicin. I don't even know how to say that one. Capsaicin. It's not a word that we say very often, right? It's a type of plant. Mm -hmm, very hot, oh, yes. Yeah. Very hot. Um, okay. So the ch sound, like in chili, is pronounced ch ch chili ch chili chili chili. Mm -hmm. chili. Good. Chili. Um, and then t h a i, like in mm -hmm. Thailand, it's pronounced mm -hmm. Thai. Thai. Mm -hmm. Thai. Thai from yum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thai. Thai. Enchiladas. Yum. <laughs> very good. Chili. Chili. Um, Thank you. Do you see any new words here? New vocabulary? Everyone? No? Maybe just the capsicum plant and that ingredient, but I think you can understand what it is, right? It's just the plant where the chilies grow. Um, great. Okay. Uh, Maria, can you read the next paragraph for us? Okay. It Eating a hot chili can be painful, but the caps capsaicin may may be good for your health. It opens your nose, so you can breathe better. It it may even be good for losing weight. Capsaicin makes you feel less hungry and makes your body Use more calories. Good. Calories. 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 Mm -hmm. What are calories? Anyone mm -hmm. know? Uh, calories are units used to measure the energy value of food. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They're um, basically energy, so units of energy. Um, and you get them through food and, and drinks, right? You gain calories and you lose them through exercising. You can burn them off through exercising. Um, 
Okay, good. Any vocabulary? Um, this word pronounced like cap capsaicin or capsaicin. Capsaicin. Yeah, um, yes, uh, this stress uh, on the first uh, um, uh, capsaicin. Let me find it to be sure. Um, I don't say this word very often. Uh -huh. <laughs> so one second. I don't want to give you the wrong answer. Uh, one sec. It's loading. Capsaicin. Ooh, <laughs> there it is. Capsaicin. Okay. And I'll I'll paste the. Here we go. Okay, capsaicin, capsaicin, capsaicin. Um, not a common word. I don't think I've ever said it in my life. <laughs> okay, um, capsaicin. Yes, exactly. Source of hotness in it's hot somebody. peppers. Good. Um, okay. Did you know this about spicy food? It can open your nose, help you breathe. Help you lose weight. <laughs> Maybe we should all eat more spicy food <laughs> to lose weight. Um, good. Okay, uh, Oksana, could you read the next paragraph for us, please? Yes. Uh, we can measure the capsaicin in chilies with the uh, Scoville heat units. Um, a fairly spicy green paper had about 1,500 uh, units. The worst uh, hottest chili, uh, the Nava Jolokian, got paper had more than a million. Good. So this is the scale that they use, the Scoville heat unit scale. That's what this is up here. This is the H, or, sorry, SHU, the scale. So that's how they measure the hotness. The world's hottest chili, how many SHU does it have? One million. That's a lot. <laughs> yes. And then the sweet pepper has? Zero. Zero. So, and then we have everything in between. Mm. OK. Any vocabulary in this paragraph? No? Cool. Okay. Um, let's go to the next one. Uh, Yuki, you're up. Yes. Um, you can measure the caps capsaicin in chilies with Scoville heat oh. unit. Sorry, we're on the next no? one. The uh, next one, sorry. Yep, it's okay. Then, uh, the Naga Jorokia is produced in, in the Assam region of India. Recently, Ana Anandita Dutta Tamuli, a 26-year-old mother from Assam, Assam, broke a world, world record of eating 51 of these hot peppers in just two minutes. Good. Okay. What does it mean to break a world record? Break a world record? Uh, the new, the new world, the world record. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you set a new one, and this old one is no longer the the best for the record. Um, this girl ate fifty one hot peppers in two minutes. It, it, it's a great achievement. I can't imagine. <laughs> it sounds horrible. <laughs> Maybe it, it's horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh, you would be on fire, like. Oh. I can't imagine, but That's maybe she minutes. has, um, yeah, a very high tolerance. For heat. Yeah, it's crazy. Can you imagine her stomach? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, boiling. Uh huh. Heating. <laughs> <laughs> Heating. <laughs> yeah, you can. I think your your mouth would burn for like hours afterwards. <laughs> And can you imagine after the digestion? Oh Ew. my god! Yes, oh, yes, pain, right. painful. Ew. Painful. <laughs> <laughs> Think about the next day. 
Yeah, the next day is even worse, right? <laughs> Gross. Okay, good. <laughs> Maybe uh, you can't wait until next day. In, in, in this night, you will be enjoy that twice. twice. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, okay, um, Abdullah Aziz? <laughs> yes. Hey, uh, could you read the next paragraph for us? Oh gosh. Uh, I try. Okay. Uh, start. Uh, I found. Yep. Uh, I found eating chilies with a girl, girl cat. Great. Way, great way to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, says uh, Tim Billy, uh, who begin. Cutting chilies when she was a child. Every time I have a cold or low pole, I just mm, I just machine uh, on on some chilies, and I feel bitter to be uh, not, uh, honest honest. I bury, I bury, uh, notice, notice them now. Very good, perfect. Um, what about this word here? M U N C H, munch. Does anyone know that word, munch? Munch. Mm -hmm. Munch. Munch. Munch is similar yeah. to chew. Yeah, it's similar to oh. chew. It's like um, you take your food and you chew on it. Like munch on something, just to bite and chew it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Any other vocabulary here? This is the cold or flu. So when you're sick. What do you think about this? <laughs> Whenever she's sick, she chews on some chili peppers, and feels better. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Does anyone do this when they're sick? In Russia, uh, people mix uh, hot chili paper with the vodka and drink uh, oh it. Ah, yes, yes, yes. That's Russian horrible. This <laughs> yes. often say, say uh, if you have, you have a cold, a bet, you, you do better to drink uh, vodka. Vodka uh, with yeah. chili? With chili, yes, with chili. Oh yes. my gosh. Oh, that sounds terrible. And also, there is a vodka with chili uh, in bottle. Uh, it is from Ukraine. Yeah? You maybe can. Ok Oksana, you don't, maybe you, you know. You can buy a bottle of vodka yes, chili? Yes, uh, but it is not from Russia, it is from Ukraine, maybe. Oh. Famous, uh, famous uh, brand of vodka. Vodka with uh, chili. That's <laughs> um, when you uh, have a cold, you must um, take uh, one. Uh, you must take vodka and paper and mix these ingredients and uh, drink it. Oh my gosh! I don't think I could do that. Um, <laughs> I'm not a, a big vodka drinker myself. <laughs> I think it would. I don't want to try. No, uh, the whole bottle, but uh, um, <laughs> a little not. bit. I hope you don't drink the whole bottle. <laughs> yes. Oksana, have you tried this before? Um, uh, I don't try it, but my father do it. Terrible. <laughs> um, here's a picture. <laughs> Of her eating her chili, <laughs> world champion chili eater. <laughs> Very impressive. I guess she looks. Where does it say where she's from? India. India. Yeah, she looks to be from India. India. Um, it looks good. Oh yeah, here it is, Assam, India. There she is. Um, okay. So, let's see how well we understood what we read. Okay. Um, what is the reading mainly about? Um, 
Giancarlo, can you read our options for us? Yeah, sure. Uh, how to measure the capsaicin in chilies? Dishes that are made with chilies. Interesting facts about chilies or weight loss in chilies. Uh, the answer, yeah. Mm -hmm. This email about how to measure capsaicin dishes that are made with chilies. Interesting fact. Interesting facts about chilies, right? I don't know. Maybe. Is is letter, <laughs> uh, is letter C? I think so. Okay. Does everyone agree? Is it C? Yes. Oh, I highlighted okay. the whole page. <laughs> Let me find my marker. Here we go. Okay. Ooh, it's an arrow. <laughs> That's fine. That works. <laughs> okay. C. Interesting facts about chilies. Good. Um, how about Andrews? Is it working, your microphone? Still not working. <laughs> um, is it Yusana? I'm, oh, I can never remember your name. I should write it down. I don't remember. Is it Yusana? Yusana? Yona. 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 Okay, Yona. Uh, I wrote it down, so I'll never say it wrong again. Uh, Yona. Okay. <laughs> uh, Yona, can you read number okay. two? Okay. In line two, the word it uh, refers to um, the feeling uh, you mouth the chili papers, the hurt. Heat. The heat. The heat. The heat. Right. So in line. Uh, I, I don't speak the question. Uh, in line to uh, the word in reference to. Right. So uh, we have to look the chili, back the up here. Papers, the yeah. chili pepper. Here is line two, and here is it. So what the, does it refer to? You may have experienced the feeling. Your mouth feels like it's on fire. What does it refer to? Your mouth feels like it's on fire. Oh my god. I, I, I don't know. I don't speak. It's okay. Um, everyone, what do you think in this sentence? Your mouth feels like it's on fire. What does it refer to? Uh, mouth. 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 Right, your mouth. So you could say your mouth feels like your mouth <laughs> is mouth on fire, fire. right? <laughs> but it replaces it. So your mouth feels like it's on fire. Yeah, good. Right. So it refers to B, your mouth. Okay. Um, good. Okay, uh, Maria, can you read number three? How many S H U are in the Naga Jolokia Chili? Just over fifty, between one thousand and two thousand. A little less than one million. Over one million. Right. I think it's a little less than one million. Okay, maybe. What does everyone think? Let's take a look. The here it is. The Naga Jolokia Chili. It's right here. The world's hottest chili has more than a million. So what is the answer? How many SHU? Is it C? No. Maybe letter D. This over one million. Right, over one million. Because in the text it says the world's hottest chili has more than a million. Hmm. And that means over a million, more than a million. Good. Okay, uh, Mohammed, can you read number four? In line twenty-one, some someone has a world record is if they eat more nan naga 
Jolika Chili than anyone else. Make a recording of someone someone eating man Naja Jolika Jolika chilies. Number three, uh, eat two or more Naja Jolika chilies very quickly. D make the best best testing dish using Naja Jolika Jolika mm -hmm. chilies. Good. It's very tough names. Yeah, Naga Jolokia. <laughs> Naga Jolokia. Mm -hmm. Or this I could be saying it wrong too because, it, again, it's not really an English word. Yes, it's something mm -hmm. good. Anyway, it's number A. Eat more Naga, Naga Jolokia chilies than anyone else. Okay. What do you guys think? Agree or disagree? Agree. 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 Yes, good. That's what a world record is, right? You're the best. <laughs> so you do more than anyone else. Um, good. Okay, Oksana, what about number five? Uh, in in lines 26, uh, from 26 to uh, 27, the phrase I barely noticed them now could be replaced by Let's find it. 26 uh -huh. to 27, mm -hmm. right here. Every time I have a cold or flu, I just munch on some chilies and I feel better. To be honest, I barely notice them now. I barely notice them now. So what could we replace it with here in the question? for everyone. So if you if you eat chilies every day all the time, <laughs> um, what would happen? She barely notices them now. So what do you think? How could we replace it? I sometimes forget to eat chilies. Maybe no, I it, almost don't feel mm -hmm. the sweet of the chilies now. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, Oops. Uh oh, what's happening? D. D. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I almost don't feel the heat yeah. of the chilies yeah. now. What does everyone think? D. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah, it's D. Um, the word barely means almost never. Almost never is barely. Um, not often, right? So if you barely mm -hmm. notice something, you almost don't feel it. It's a synonym of seldom. Yep, seldom. Exactly. Uh, hardly. Hardly. Okay. Yep. Hardly, barely, seldom. They're all. They're all the same. Um, and then the opposite would be usually, right? An antonym. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. True or false? Capsaic capsaicin <laughs> helps you breathe better. Yes. Everyone, true or true. false? True. 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 Yeah, true. Capsaicin makes you feel happier. <laughs> like drugs. <laughs> Not like a drug. <laughs> so our <laughs> options are <laughs> true, false, or not given in the not passage. Given. Not given, I think so, yeah. They don't tell us about the drug-like <laughs> effects. <laughs> uh, capsaicin makes you feel hungrier. Mm, false or not given. Not uh, given. Uh, no, no, false. yeah. False. yeah. False. I, th false. I think it mentions something, no? I haven't read such a sentence. Let's take a look. Okay. And you don't want to eat. Oh, when you eat right. First, it tells us that the heat is right. Then it tells us it's in lots of types of food, um, mm -hmm. and it makes them hot. It tells us it's painful and it can help you breathe better. And then, what does it say right here? Less hungry. 
makes you feel yeah. angry. Mm -hmm. Right? They were talking about that weight loss, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. So it I makes you feel hungrier? Hungry. Uh, no, false. False. Less False, hungry. yeah. Um, it helps you fall asleep at night. Uh, not giving. Not giving. Yeah, they don't talk about that. They talk about it helps you feel um, healthy if you're sick, right? But it doesn't talk about sleep. Mm -hmm. um, capsaicin makes chili peppers hot. True. 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 All right, very True. good. So um, I'm just going to show you what you have here. If you want, you have the next page to do on your own. So there's a reading passage and some vocabulary here. Mm -hmm. There's more here, more vocabulary, more reading that you can do by yourself. And on the next page, <laughs> this is especially for Giancarlo, <laughs> a taste of Mexico. I know it. Um, oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have this explore more, the, the video, but that's okay. Um, you can't watch it. Maybe you can find it on YouTube. I don't know. Um, but you have another passage with even more vocabulary. So these are things that you can work on on your own if you want. Um, and then it tells you here, to learn more about Mexican food, <laughs> visit this website. Um, so there's some lots of resources for you. Um, but with the last 10 minutes, I, I think we should just talk um, about what we read and about food. And then you can do that stuff by yourself. It's just extra for you. Okay? Um, yeah. So first of all, does anyone like Mexican food? I know one person will answer this. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can tell you, I can share that in, in Mexico, people here prepare a lot of uh, spicy food most of the, most of the time. Mm -hmm. And um, we are we have a very big variety of dishes. Uh, chili can be prepared in many different uh, kind of dishes with chicken, fish, meat, hamburgers, etc. It is a little bit weird because you know hamburgers are prepared in a normal way. I mean, American used to prepare I mean prepare hamburgers with ketchup and. Yeah. And mustard and etc. But here in Mexico, we have our our own style, you know, with Mexican Mexican what? sauce. Your own style. <laughs> exactly. I'm gonna. I'm going to Google. Hold on. Mexican hamburger. <laughs> Let's see. Mexican. Okay, this is what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, okay, check. It looks the same, but I guess you put different ingredients on it, right? Exactly. Yeah. And sometimes we put we put it a uh, green sauce with relish. Uh, yeah, with green tomato and yeah, and like sometimes this? yeah. Relish. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Really? yeah. Is it but. Pork? It's yeah, it, it is um, spicy. It is very yours, spicy. Maybe yours is spicy, Giancarlo, but relish for us is not spicy. It's sweet. Ah, oh, no, no, no. In Mexico, it's really, really hot, really spicy because it is prepared in a molcajete and it is prepared by hand with a lot of jalapeños chilies mm. and it's very, very spicy with garlic, onion, peppers and it is sour. And sometimes we we put uh, some uh, lemon there to be more spiced. Oh, it sounds very. I'm hungry, guys. It's almost. I also <laughs> feel hungry. It's almost time for dinner. I'm like, all I want is a Mexican hamburger. <laughs> Thinking about the Mexican food, I I would I would imagine the uh, tacos. Yeah. Imagine what? Tacos. No? Tacos. No? Giancarlo? Oh yeah, <laughs> tacos are prepared with Mexican, Mexican salt. Mexican yes. sauce. Mexican sauce. Tacos hot? Yeah, also. Yeah, really, yeah. really hot. It, it depends on you because on the table where we are preparing the tacos, you can select the sauce you want to, green sauce or maybe Mexican sauce. And I want to tell you that it is called Mexican sauce because the flag, our flag is 
um, red, mm-hmm. white, ah. and uh, green. And this sauce, this sauce is prepared with three different ingredients: red tomato, green chili, and white because of the onion. Mm-hmm. So the three colors from the flag mm-hmm. are the same as the colors in the vegetables we use for for the Mexican Mexican um, oh. for the Mexican sauce. That's for that really reason, interesting. For that reason, it is called. Mexican sauce, hmm. or yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, Carlo, your express explanation is so excellent that yeah. it makes us hungry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <It's your fault>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I am. I, I am. I am hungry too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. really <laughs> like. I have to have Mexican sauce now, but unfortunately, we don't have it in Canada. So <laughs> I guess I'll just eat. Eat, what do we eat in Canada? I'll eat some bacon or something. I would uh, like to go to your country and taste taste real real tacos. Yeah, oh, yeah. But uh, maybe uh, Samantha, you can real, you can real, go real. to the organic organic uh, organic shop yeah. and you can prepare your own sauce because it's very easy. Just mix oh. just mix the chili, the green chilies, the red tomato. Or the green tomatoes and a little bit of onion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you just you blend chop. it, right? Exactly, you can blend it and parsley. Of course, parsley is a very important ingredient in sauce mm-hmm. because it gives you a different uh, taste and it mm-hmm. is very tasty. And you can put in tacos, tortas, hamburgers, and it's completely delicious. I highly yeah. recommend you guys. To I have to say, um, Mexican food is like one of my absolute favorites and one of my best friends is Mexican and she's a really good cook so whenever I go there for dinner she always makes me all sorts of things that I don't know how to make and do, it's my do favorite. Do you make for yourself or are you, uh, do, you, do you have uh, Mexican food in restaurants? Yeah. yeah, there's Mexican restaurants but I guess it's, oh. it depends because we have... <laughs> Giancarlo, have you heard of Taco Bell? Yeah, yeah, of course. So, this is yeah. like America's attempt. Yes, I <laughs> think we did differ. It's so it's bad. Can- it's Can- Canadian, Canadian Mexican food differ from original. Yeah, it's not. It's not good. Yeah, because I consider that one important ingredient in the tacos is the tortilla made by corn. Tortilla. You know? oh. the, the the tortilla. The tortilla. The, oh. the tortilla is the the thing that is really flat, made by corn. It's interesting mm. because tortilla in Mexico is like the wraps, but tortilla in Spain is different, right, Maria? Maria? Yes. Uh, what is in tortilla Spain? in Spain? Tell us. Say sí. it's in potato and onions. Yeah, and usually. An egg, right? I think there's egg. Is there egg? I don't know. But it's like a thick potato, onion sort of pancake thing. And it's completely, it's not the same thing at all as tortilla in Mexico. John Carlo, it's interesting. But it's Is the it same. Pancake? Kind of. It's pancake? not a pancake. Let me show you. I'll show you a picture. Ah, sorry. Um, sorry, I don't know. Thi- it's thick. It's, it's like a. No, that's me- this is Mexican oh. tortilla, right? Corn tortillas, but this is Spanish tortilla. No, in Spanish is egg and potato and yeah. this this, oh. this is tortilla. It's in more Spain. like yeah, more like a quiche sort of thing, mm. where it's thick and you have a slice of it, and it's really good, but it's completely different. <laughs> you you can't wrap anything, and then yeah, it's interesting. It's the same word. Um, is there any spicy food in anyone else's country besides like these chili peppers um, and that sort of thing? I don't know about everyone's culture. Is spicy food kind of popular where you're from? Uh, very, it is very famous in Korean. Kore- Korean spicy food is very famous. Mm-hmm. In the world, oh, oh, uh, one of them is very famous is, is uh, kimchi. Kimchi is uh, fermented, to, uh, fermented to, uh, cabbage mm-hmm. with with chili with, with pepper. 
with the chili pepper. It is very, very hot. And the Korean people always eat 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 eat, eat spicy food. Um, and they say that that um, many people ha had died from uh, from uh, blood disease. How to say? From blood from, disease. From um, how to say? Like an infection or? Yes, uh, no. Oh, high uh, blood pressure. High blood pressure. <laughs> so, right, right. Mm -hmm. uh, someone say it is because of their food. Mm -hmm. But I like Korean food very much. It's very tasty, and yeah. it it makes us hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very spicy. It's spicy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, Mohammed, where are you from? I forget. Uh, I'm from Egypt. Do you have spicy food there? No, actually, Egyptians don't like spicy food. No. <laughs> uh, but it's in the tradition of. Uh, I can tell you that uh, Libyan, Libya and in Morocco, they eat it. They eat some specific foods which is very chilly, very spicy ones. Mm -hmm. In Morocco, they call it uh, um, couscous. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, this is one of the of the known uh, one known uh, foods. It's a very spicy one. And in Libya, I'm just searching uh, Google to find what is the name because I remember. It was one which is very hot. Spicy couscous. I heard about couscous. This is couscous. It's kind I, of like I heard, yeah. It's I've kind heard of about like rice, but it's like little balls. Rice, yeah? Yes, yeah. Yes. Couscous. What is couscous? I've heard about it, but I I, I don't know it's, anything. It's about a Morocco couscous. food, Moroccan food. Mm -hmm. What are the ingredients or? It's and rice. Couscous is a, it's and rice. Rice. Yeah, it's, oh. it's a type of rice. It's kind of it's like rice, rice, but it's it's, it's uh, round um, and s like little balls of of kind of rice, but it's not it's not actually rice. It's it's not it's not rice. It's actually no, not rice. It's, it's, not it's rice. some it's kind of. Um, it's is it like not rice? It's is it like soya? Is it soya? Is it soya? No, no, it's not soy. Soy. No, soy. No, 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 not soy. Crop, no, crop. it is a crop, but not rice. It's a type of um, wheat. It's crushed wheat. It's um, type of wheat. Not, okay. not, not it's wheat. another. Yeah, it's a type of grain. But so it has it's kind of, of the, same, the same texture as rice, but it's not rice. Um, and you add uh. things to it, different flavors, chicken, vegetables, chickpeas, um, and it's it's really nice. Oh yeah, it must be delicious. Mm -hmm. Is it the hot? Uh, well, I it depends know. what yes, you. Yeah. Yeah, it depends what you put with it, right? Um, yes, yes. The couscous itself is not hot, but yes, it but it depends on, on the ingredient itself. Oh. Your mm -hmm. own way to do it. Uh, in Russia, we make couscous uh, from decoy. Hmm. Yes, uh, instead of rice, we use decoy. And is it spicy when you make your? Uh, the no, it's. Maybe it's not. Uh, uh, yes, it's spicy, but not hot. Mm -hmm. We use some spice, but not uh, very uh, hot spice. Not too high on that scale, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Our spice scale. Um, yes. Okay. Well, we're just about out of time, so you have the link to that document if you feel like doing some homework, <laughs> and. There's my Facebook and my Verbling page. Um, I'll be back at 9 p.m., but I don't know what the class is in four hours for some class of some sort. <laughs> so maybe a game or something. So maybe I'll see you guys there or tomorrow. Okay, okay, okay Samantha. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.